My name is Alex Frank. I'm a physician assistant student here at West Liberty University, and today I just want to show you what it's like to live a day as a PA student. So we're going to go in our uh, physical diagnosis skills lab. Uh, today we're working with the pediatric population, so we had some volunteer kids come up so we could practice doing a physical exam on them. My name's Alex. You met before, right? I'm a PA student. So we're just going to practice doing a physical exam today. Is that okay with you? We have a skills lab which has multiple um, clinical diagnosis skills stations or uh, exam rooms. So we have a few exam rooms where they're actually set up. You knock on the door, go in, and you can do almost a real life patient encounter with one of your classmates uh, or any volunteer that you were examining. They all have the otoscopes and fundoscopes and blood pressure cuffs and I mean the sink, the table, the whole nine. It's just like walking into the doctor's office. I was very interested in medicine and I knew that. Uh, so it came down to between medical school and PA school. And after a lot of thought, I decided that being a physician assistant uh, better suited my lifestyle than being a physician was because I like to be involved in a ton of different things. I like to be really hands-on and it just gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility uh, between what field you're working in and also how your schedule's set up. Today we're going to go into our clinical skills lab for our clinical skills class and we're going to work on our suturing techniques. What we're going to do first is practice just getting the needle in at the 90 degrees and bringing it out through the subcutaneous tissue. So the foam on this board is simulating subcutaneous tissue. So our cohort is relatively small compared to other uh, PA programs and because we have such a small class comparatively you get more one-on-one -on -one instruction with each of the providers and all of our faculty are uh, have gone through PA school or medical school and they know uh, how to apply the skills we're learning here out in the field and it's just nice to be able to approach them and ask them questions uh, and you also get a more complete learning experience I feel like because they can go a little more in depth and make sure that you have really honed in and are 100% competent in that skill before moving on so you're not just getting an overview of the uh, PA education, you're getting something that's really hands-on and in-depth. So today, our PA Student Society, we do a monthly potluck where everyone brings some kind of dish uh, and we all just kind of sit around and hang out and share. It's a two-year program, so the first half is 12 months and it's uh, we call it the didactic phase, so it's all in-classroom work. You're sitting through lectures and getting experience in our labs. Uh, as far as practicing your clinical skills and your physical diagnosis skills. And then the second year of the program, you're out in the field, so either in hospitals around the area or wherever the rotations are set up. Um, and that's just our, we call it our clinical year, clinical rotations. So you'll do five week rotations with different preceptors and learn the specific uh, diseases, diagnoses, treatments, and skills that are done in each area. Today we're doing our clinical skills lab where we're learning how to cast each other and put splints on. I have my nice pink camo cast and I'll be getting it taken off soon. Freehanding and we're going to try to use fingers, something to give us a little bit of control. Okay. A little hard to hear right handed. So our program is extremely affordable compared to others in the region. Um, especially myself being in state, it really helps having a lower cost because when you come out, um, physician assistants do make nice salaries, but you're still going to have student loans you have to pay off for a while. So the lower cost really allows you to pay off those student loans a little bit quicker and get to making actual money uh, quicker as well. So the final uh, exam you have to take before you're a certified physician assistant is called the PANTS exam. And it is a cumulative exam of all the information that you've learned and you get a lot of clinical vignette type stories that you have to diagnose the patient or treat the patient and the pass rates at West Liberty are extremely high. Um, I know that last year's class did all pass on the first try which is amazing and every year continually we just keep getting better and better at that and I feel very prepared 
just now at this point, from what the knowledge I've gained so far, I feel like I'm retaining it, and I feel like if I continue to study and be presented the material the way I am, I'll be fine whenever it comes to taking my certifying exam. Hopefully this gave you a good look at what it's like inside the PA program. For more information, you can check us out online.